price was sown on the 18th, 15th of October and the permanent order was applied on the 22nd of December. Uh, the reason for delaying the permanent water is trying to get returns per megalitre up as we are a mixed cropping farm so we've got to get rice to match cotton somewhere. Uh, traditionally with an aerial sowing crop in this paddocks we've been using 12 to 12 and a half megs of water. This year we anticipate it's about eight and a half to nine megs. With conventional drill sowing over delayed permanent water we've always been using about one meg per hectare so around nine and a half megs per hectare above conventional drill sowing. Between the delayed permanent water and the, and the more conventional types, um, yes, yeah, so you generally do see a yield decrease of maybe half a tonne to a tonne maybe, um, but we think it's more and well and truly made up for um, with the water we're saving. I think weed control, um, especially out here, there's a fairly bad grass problem out here. Um, so for us this year, it was certainly a grass control issue. That's certainly something we're focus on going forward? Uh, grass control is probably the biggest challenge with um, delaying it so far we sort of get outside the scope of all chemicals. Uh, so we overcome those challenges by um, trying to mix up our chemistries and chemicals we use. Um, there are, we have difficulty with some chemicals um, working better than others I suppose. Um, so going forward it's going to be a big focus of ours is how we deal with those issues and um, solve them I suppose. Uh, look, fundamentally for us it's about saving water. Uh, we're trying to achieve obviously the greatest return, so the greatest um, yield per megalitre. Um, you know, we're trying to get up to that 1.5 and better if we can, tonnes per meg. Uh, rice after cotton tends to work because of the barnyard grass control throughout the cotton program the season before and the rice does a good job of cleaning up excess nitrogen that the cotton may have left before. Uh, the main reason we grew uh, rice after cotton, um, look after the, the cotton we had to pupae bust anyway, um, so we formed the beds and rolled them, um, and it was just a nice fit. It was an easy way of sort of going from one to the other. Uh, next we're going to follow in with a wheat crop, uh, low rates and with a maybe one irrigation.